CAR T cell therapy is a form of uh, cell-based therapy that's been used successfully to treat many cancers and is being tested as a treatment for autoimmune diseases, including uh, early stages of MS research. Um, and uh, CAR T stands for uh, chimeric antigen receptor T cell. T cells are a type of immune cell and, and this particular therapy uses the body's own T cells in a genetically engineered format to attack autoimmune cells. We know that there are certain cell types in the immune system, uh, in particular B cells, which have um, been a very successful um, target for MS treatments. But the current medication type treatments and infusion type treatments that we have um, target B cells in a very crude way. The way CAR T cells work is once they're um, infused into the body, uh, they sort of seek out and attract the cell type that they're designed to find. Then the CAR T cells themselves sort of multiply and proliferate. And then they have an ability to eliminate the cell type that they're targeting. And then they stick around and they can police the system for a long period of time. So CAR T cell is definitely a type of cell-based therapy. These are living live cells uh, that we're giving to patients. Um, when we say stem cell, we generally mean cells that are intended to develop into or spur the development of other cell types. But I think you could think of these um, as sort of um, all advancing the field of cellular therapies in that instead of just giving medications per se, we're harnessing biology really. Um, and the ability to give less toxic and more highly directed and focused therapies using the body's own mechanisms um, uh, in a way that oncologists, cancer doctors have really been, you know, learned to do over the last couple of decades. I think that these advances are going to start coming to autoimmune disease, and we're excited about those prospects for patients with MS. Well, there's a couple of needs. Um, one is that the medications that we give don't penetrate all of the um, um, compartments of the body. So the central nervous system, for instance, our current medications don't get into the central nervous system in large numbers. Secondly, most people on a medication for MS are dependent in the long term on taking MS medication over and over and over again. Um, and it would be nice to have one treatment that we could give um, in, a, in a short course of treatment, but that would have very long lasting effects without having to be dependent on medication. And CAR T cell or um, other cell based therapies might hold that promise. So, that's, so those are some of the reasons why we're pretty excited about them. Uh, CAR T cell therapy, uh, once given, could provide long lasting benefits to a patient when they would not be dependent on immune modulating medication. With CAR T cell therapy, the treatment course itself is somewhat complicated. Um, it, it takes a number of weeks of patient preparation and um, cell preparation and then administration of the treatment. But the hope is that once that um, um, initial course of treatment is given, the effect of the treatment on preventing MS disease activity would be long term. The CAR T cells have the ability potentially to stick around in the body and police the system so that we would not have to redose therapy. That's really appealing for patients with MS. So how to select the right patient population um, for CAR T cell therapies is one of the big questions that we have actually that we're gonna try to answer with clinical trials. Um, obviously, the biggest unmet need in MS is progressive MS. Some aspects of CAR T cell therapy, like the fact that it can deplete B cells in the central nerve, around the central nervous system and in other tissues, make it a really appealing uh, you know, prospect for treating progressive MS. However, we also know that in relapsing or remitting MS and in earlier types of MS, highly effective therapies like CAR T cell, B cell directed therapies might have the prospect of long-term disease remission 
And so I think that um, there may be a possibility of using this throughout, but selecting the right patients, especially for the earliest clinical trials is gonna be quite tricky. Um, and uh, we're gonna do our best to maximize benefit to patients while minimizing any risk or harm until we learn more.